Good morning and welcome to Eye on the Community. Excited about my last segment of the show. Got my good brother, Nate Jameson, in the building. What's going on, sir? What's up? What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Glad to have you here, man. Um, been able to see you uh, via social media, doing your thing, speaking in different schools, colleges, um, you know, uh, universities, high schools, leadership academies, backyard barbecues, wherever God is calling <laughs> you to go. And um, I'm like, man, I got to I gotta get him in here, man. You got an event coming up that you're going to be, uh, you know, really uh, looking to, to get people to come to uh, to really affect change in their life. And so mm -hmm. you, you, got, you got a series you're doing called It Stops With Me. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, let's talk about you know who you are, how you got into what you're doing, and then let's talk about It Stops With Me. Man, so the, the this motivational speaking started in 2014. Okay. Um, I went to Eastmore Academy my last two years of high school. Okay. And upon me going to the school, I met who's like my second mother now. So she was my teacher. She taught like a computer class for me. Um, and I was walking in a class one day and I'm thinking, I had a basketball tattooed on me at the time. So I'm yeah. thinking like, I'm going to the league. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. So I'm walking into the class and she's like, yo, let me talk to you. She's like, let me pull you to the side. Let me holler at you. She was like, when you walk into a room, you demand attention. Like it's something about you when you're in front of people that you demand attention. Mm. And I'm like, I don't really know what you're talking about. I'm going to the league. So I just kind of brushed it off. Um, and so she kind of forced me to do the senior uh, speech, like the senior breakfast speech. Okay. And I knew from that point forward that I had kind of a gift at being in front of people, speaking right. and doing things of that nature. And at the same time, I was transitioning away from basketball. Um, and I started just doing motivational speaking, man. I started listening to speeches and stuff like that, getting out to the community, volunteering from 2014, all over the city, just doing stuff for free, trying yeah. to build my name, get experience. And then it eventually turned into a business. So I'm just able to help people, inspire, and spread God's glory. That's that's the goal, man. So you got this serious call, It Stops With Me. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. You know, uh, what's going to be happening? You know, what is it exactly? So It Stops With Me is going to be a series. It's going to be six parts to it. Okay. Um, the first session is going to be on breaking generational curses. And I was literally just like laying in my bed one night. And I woke up out of my sleep. And I felt like God gave me this vision uh, to just act on it, to mm. just do this. So... I created it. It's called It Stops With Me. It's going to be two hours each session. First session is, well, the first hour is going to be like the discussion. Okay. Um, another hour is going to be the praise and worship. And it's just different topics that I feel like we don't discuss enough amongst young people, middle-aged people, even older folk, um, breaking generational curses. We've got uh, the struggle between faith and fear. We've got soul ties and fleshly desires, wow. things of that nature. So it's going to be real conversation, but we're going to be pulling from the Bible. So we're going to be pulling from the Word good, to see good. if we can come up with some <laughs> solutions and things of that good. nature. So I love it. Yep. Um, so when is the event? When is the first session? The first session is December 21st, okay. 3 p.m. at Brittnell Recreation Center. That's 1280 Brittnell Avenue. And this is a free event? Free, completely free. There's going to be drinks and snacks and everything provided completely free. You don't have to pay nothing. Just bring yourself. So, so what can I expect when I come to this event? Like, what can I expect to, to happen? You can expect a breakthrough, man. You can expect real conversations. You can expect people from all walks of life to be there. Teenagers, um, you know, early 20s, just people from different walks of life who generally all have went through the same things because we all pretty much as human beings go yeah. through the same emotions and soul ties and curses and things of that nature. Yeah. So, you know, people from different backgrounds um, having discussions and ultimately leaving their new person, leaving is, their transform. Is this event only for only for Christians? No, absolutely okay. not. Absolutely not. Obviously, we're going to be pulling from the Bible. So, you know, it's Christianity is the base basis behind what we're... But anybody can come and Anybody can come. Anybody can come. All right, when is the event again and where is it going to be at? December 21st, Brittnell Recreation Center. That's 1280 Brittnell Avenue. Um, that's 3 p.m., 3 to 5. It's only two hours long. Nice. Completely free. When can they, uh, how can they get in touch with you? They want to make sure that they get more information. How can they follow you on social media? Give us all your handles and everything. If you need to get in touch with me, if you're coming, if you want to learn more about the event, you can hit me up on Instagram at Nate Jameson Speaks. That's N-A-T-E-J-A-M-E-S-O-N-S-P-E-A-K-S, -E -E Nate Jameson Speaks. I'm only really using Instagram right now. Um, I've got a YouTube channel, and that's Nate Jameson Speaks as well. Not really on Twitter anymore or Snapchat. So hit me up on IG if you have any questions or just want to check out my social media. There it is, man. Let's support, man. Let's break the generational curses. That is December the 21st, Britain Air Recreation Center, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. I know it's going to be incredible. Make sure you're in the building. All right. That is my time for today. Make sure you keep God first with God. All things are possible. All is all. That's all that all means. Join us here next Sunday at Eye on the Community.